what is up guys welcome back to the channel and to another roundup episode as always keeping you up to date on all the latest news and rumors and wwe crown jewel is over we actually ended up doing a full review on the show and i feel like it was my best review so far i don't know if it was because of how much of a hot mess the show was or just because of how much of a run i went into it so if you guys haven't checked it out just yet make sure to do so i will link it on the top right of this video and also i'll suggest it to you guys guys at the end of it nonetheless we got a lot to talk about already because we are on the road to survivor series which as you guys know is now once again a smackdown versus raw type of pay-per-view in which we're gonna be getting champions of each brand face each other for brand supremacy or at least that's how wwe usually likes to book it but now we're getting multiple reports indicating what was the original plan of the event and also what wwe is still planning to happen at that event reservoirs in indicates the following regarding survivor series as said previously a source which has been spot on stated this year's show wasn't going to be much of a raw vs smackdown type show that was definitely changed unfortunately when the roman reigns news hit creative went upside down for whatever reason vince did not want roman reigns versus aj styles at the pay-per-view therefore the thought of doing a raw vs smackdown show was out of the window when all that happened with Roman Reigns, creative needed to change something quick. The Team Corbin versus Team Angle match, it is still to be determined. So there's a lot of things to actually get from this, one of those being that it looks like Roman Reigns was actually going to retain his championship at WWE Crown Jewel, and since for whatever reason Vince didn't want to see him face AJ Styles at the event, Survivor Series was going to be looking very different. Now as you guys know, they reverted back to the decision and we are getting Brock Lesnar from Monday Night Raw facing AJ Styles from SmackDown Live which is the second match that they're going to be having and following this report we actually got the possible ending to this match as Dave Meltzer noted on the Wrestling Observer Radio that since Brock Lesnar won their first match last year it is AJ Styles turn if WWE is going with a 50-50 booking logic they indicated the following so AJ and Brock is really interesting because if you look at it from one standpoint they wrestled before and Brock Lesnar won so in a sense Monday Night Raw won so they're going to do it again so it should be Smackdown's turn to win this year's Survivor Series so how do you make this happen well reports coming from Ringside News noted that if Braun Strowman's help AJ Styles then that is the right way to do it because at the same time it will continue to build his feud with Brock Lesnar which at the moment they're scheduled to have a match either at the Royal Rumble or at Wrestlemania next year in which finally Braun Strowman is going to win it this is of course the right move and at the moment it does feel like aj styles needs this victory and the good thing is that if it does end up being this way brock lesnar is still going to be protected because technically he's not going to be losing a match clean to aj styles and sticking with brock lesnar there's some interesting details on his new contract with the wwe after winning the title at crown jewel wrestling with server radio reported that brock lesnar can in fact do whatever he wants and he does have few options options with his own future but by this point he was supposed to be gone from the wwe but of course with the big news from roman reigns vince mcmahon felt like he needed brock lesnar so he ended up offering him much more money to stay for a couple of extra appearances and as of right now he is only signed for at least two more matches those being one with aj styles at survivor series and the next one against braun Strowman. they also added that brock lesnar could show up on ufc whenever he wants because his short contract track permits him to do just that with that being said this weekend ufc champ daniel kamir ended up challenging brock lesnar on the octagon and told him that next time that he shows up bring the wwe championship so that he could put it on the line so this is certainly getting interesting the question is will vince mcmahon let him put the championship on the line in another promotion or probably not but brock lesnar could certainly bring it with him even just to show it off moving on to some other reports and we're talking about another Another major match that was at least scheduled or rumored to be happening at WrestleMania 35 and that is Triple H versus Batista but as you guys know following WWE Crown Jewel Triple H ended up getting injured so he went into surgery already and WWE confirmed it that, that it was a legit injury now we're getting multiple reports including from PW Insider indicating that Triple H did indeed went through a pectoral muscle surgery and that he could be out of action for months from 
in-ring competition. So as of right now, reports are indicating that this match is officially canceled, at least for WrestleMania 35. Unless, of course, Triple H could make a magical recovery and come back before then, so that he could be ready, which is a possibility, but they are very slim. Aside from this possible cancellation, Triple H is also expected to miss this month's Survivor Series pay-per-view, where he could have potentially been part of the Monday Night Raw team like he did last year on the 5 on 5 traditional elimination tag team match but this of course doesn't rule out Batista from returning for another match because they could even still do a Batista versus Randy Orton match that could lead in into that Triple H match moving on to some other news and a big report that could be leading into WWE Survivor Series but even beyond that as we could be seeing a big change to a major character in WWE being Shane McMahon as Ringside News is reporting the following on why Shane McMahon won the World Cup at WWE Crown Jewel. Wrestling Observer Radio is reporting that apparently Shane McMahon win was not only meant as a way to shock fans, but also to start a very interesting character transition, which might take some time to fully develop. They indicated the following, so the idea is that Shane McMahon is going heel, and this was the way to get it started. They also added that the Miz wasn't hurt. This was all booked to be what it is. The beginning of Shane McMahon heel turn. As far as why you want another McMahon authority figure on a show, I guess it's a response to the declining ratings of SmackDown Live. So with this being all planned, WWE has some very interesting storylines going ahead. They could play on the fact that maybe The Miz just ended up faking the actual injury, aligning himself with Shane McMahon without us knowing so that they could have a better chance at winning it. Because of course, Shane McMahon was the fresh guy in the tournament, only competing for about five minutes whereas Dove Ziggler had to go through two opponents before that. This is also gonna lead in into a possibly Team Corbin versus Team Shane McMahon match at Survivor Series if they don't end up having Team Baron Corbin versus Team Angle at the event, which is something that is to be determined at the moment. So at the end of the day, it does look like WWE has some plan into booking the World Tournament as a complete joke because this might be the only thing that actually makes sense. It will make sense for Shane McMahon to be the heel in this situation, have this thing planned out all the way through, the misaligning with him, and then them joining forces and taking over on SmackDown Live. And as every Sunday on these roundups, I like to end up with the preview for SmackDown Live and Monday Night Raw. Or at least for Monday Night Raw because as of right now, we don't have anything related to SmackDown Live. So first of all, do keep in mind that Raw and SmackDown this week are gonna be from Manchester, England, meaning that there is going to be spoilers and full results of the show at least three hours before it actually goes on air so if you want to avoid those make sure to stay off twitter stay off the internet on monday afternoon nonetheless for monday night raw they are teasing the following they're teasing that baron corbin is gonna get these hands from braun Strowman after what happened at crown jewel team red heads towards survivor series which as we know we already got ronda rousey versus becky lynch as one of the top matches that will be happening at the event considering that charlotte was off for the position of a captain last week on SmackDown Live, the captain for the women's team will more than likely be determined this week for both Raw and SmackDown. They are also teasing what is next for the Riot Squad who has lost two back-to-back -back tag team matches at Evolution and on Monday Night Raw last week. And very interesting, it looks like we're actually gonna find out what's gonna be happening with the tag team champions, not necessarily Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, but the actual title which we haven't seen. Rumor have indicated that we could be getting a tournament to determine the new tag team champions so it should be interesting to see what's gonna happen because after all we already know that Seth Rollins is taking on Shinsuke Nakamura at Survivor Series so technically Monday Night Raw does need someone to hold those titles before the event if they're gonna do champions versus champions and last but not least it looks like we're gonna be getting a face off between Nia Jax and Tamina who has been going at it for the last two weeks including at Elvo so that is what I got for you guys on this roundup episode. I hope that you enjoy. If you did, make sure to elbow drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet to be fully up to date on all the latest. I will see you guys on the next video. Winter with 200,000 subscribers. I'm going to see you Dig it.